i-click mo lang, i-click lang natin to. Click lang natin. Loading. Pass. Ooh, nice. Pass naman lahat. Okay, walang fail. So, kung i-double check natin kung may fail, dito tayo sa report. Okay, 10 failure diagnostics. No failed columns. Okay. Ayun. Balik tayo sa design. So, ito na yung output ng ating design. So, ayan. Column designation, level, column size, then material property, design as, call E meaning equivalent number in each phase. Ng rebar in each phase. So, ayan yan. And then, makikita natin dito yung mga ratio. So, ratio ng X Axial, yun. And flexure, yun. So, 0.5. Okay, yan. Okay, yung ratio na yan. Ayun. And then, main reinforcement, yun. So, from, basically, sa 60 by 60 na column, yun. 20 tayo dyan. 20 na 20 mm. Then, ito yung mga links natin. So, sa ductile links. 10 mm at 100. And then, the rest... 10 at 300. Okay. Bago natin i-check yung sa design. Pag redesign, check natin yung ibang reports. Okay. Click reports. Ayan. May mga text schedule tayo sa RCDC. So, ductile schedule. Ayan. So, lahat na yun ang columns. Yan yung schedule niya. So, ganyan yung orientation. So, ito ang level. So, sa every level, meron kang ductile zone. Meron kang material. Yung links niya. Yung steel. Steel quantity and yung size ng column. Yan. Yeah. Yung taas yan. Okay. Yan yung itong schedule. Again, pwede natin itong save as CAD file. So, meron tayo dyan. Save as CAD file. Then, Pwede mo nang, doon ka na mag-edit sa CAD. Okay? So, next na report. Detailed drawing. Ayan. So, pwede ka mag-choose ano yung gusto mong level ng column na ito drawing. Okay? So, from start to end na lang tayo. From ground or footing to roof beam and then C1. Okay? Yan. So, detail lang to ng section. And then, yung mga ties. Okay, may na-miss dito. So, yung orientation na, ng column is kasama yung upper level. Okay, so ito ngayon. Copy lang natin ito lahat. Then, paste natin dito sa baba. Yan. Okay, so sa third and fourth floor, yan yung level. Okay, then design. Design, check natin sa section or sa elevation. Yan, then reports, elevation, C27. Check natin, yun nasa corner. Corner tapos front. Yan. So, from footing to second floor, 60 by 60, yan. Then, 50 by 50 na yung third hanggang roof team. Yan. So, flash yan dito sa outer side. Okay, so next report, project settings. Yan. So, ito kailangan po sa structural design report. Lagay dyan yung mga material property, design settings, mga reinforcements na gamit. Yan. And mga bar settings. Design summary. Okay. Ito na yung design natin pero nakasummary ito in every column. Yan. For example, sa C1. Yan. 
every level ito na yung design for outcome so 20 na 20 mm and then ito yung links and every column yan and dito na sa design calculation ito na yung sa column for lahat ng design in every column pwede kang pumili pick ka lang ng anong level isang ng column na yon pwede mo i-choose yung C1 na yon sa buong level click ok and up a bam yeah. so first mga legends okay na yan dyan. and then code references yeah. okay and then load data effective length calculation nandiyan na isa isa na yan okay stability check okay ito yung sway check titignan natin boom okay naman siya column should be designed as non-sway frame then slenderness check okay tingnan natin okay naman itong level na to is ito yung footing to ground floor so titingnan natin hindi ganoon ka slender yon dahil 2 meters lang yung unsupported length ng column na yon okay and then ayun calculations critical forces pu and then design for shear nandiyan na so, ito yung complete design calculations. Okay. So, after nito, ano pa yung nasa reports? And sa report also, bill of quantities. Yun. So, pwede nating magawa yan. Input ka lang ng cost per cubic mo ng concrete. Cost per kilogram ng rebar and cost per square meter ng shattering. Warm works and then click OK. Yeah. So, automatic na yung compute ng quantity yung concrete, yun yung quantity, yung cubic meter, ito yung rate, ito yung total cost ng concrete, then sa rebar, yun yung kilograms per diameter. Yan. Then sa form works. Then meron din yung naka-detail na table. Yan. C1 yung concrete volume every level yan and then reinforcements in kilogram at shattery okay, merong total yan yeah. okay reports and then oh, also PBS so power bending schedule pwede tayong makagenerate dyan pwede may choose lot ng column or let's say for example lang C1 maximum rebar length 12 natin, ilagay natin dyan, 12 meters since grade 60 to so available ng 12 meters sa mga steel manufacturers, yung mga malalaki since grade 60 naman itong rebar natin then 12 yun, and then sa schedule format, pwede siyang naka spreadsheet, naka excel save mo lang sa choose ka lang ng file uh destination file or drawing lang then sa drawing pwedeng sa screen dito siya mag generate or to file choose ka ng destination file so to screen lang choose natin and then click generate yun so yun na yung bar bending schedule natin sa column C1 then again, pwede na rin i-save yan as CAD file or pwede kang kumawa ng ganito na naka Excel file. Okay? Yan yung barbending schedule. Ayun. So, okay na tayo sa design ng column. Okay? Na-discuss naman na. And then, dito, balik tayo dito. Discuss natin yung how to redesign. So, if ever merong failure, or gusto mo lang i-change pero kung gusto i-change sa column so check natin, try natin itong C1 na to right click mo lang yan and then ito yung interface na lalabas quick section yan, yun yung ipapalabas nya so section lang ng column with the rebar quantity and the tie orientations orientation and ties and then interaction surface okay ito na yung 3D 
yun, 3D PU in moment diagram. Yan. Yan yan. Okay, and then, click ulit, right click, redesign. Yan. Dito tayo sa redesign section. Yan. Ito na yung lalabas. Gusto mong liitan. Yung section, change po lang to. Okay. Or kung gusto mong mag-change ng FC Prime. Just mo lang to. Check natin. F20. C20 or 3000 PSI for column. Check natin kung okay siya dyan. And then, grade 60 pa din. Yan. Cover. Pwede mong mag-change dito. Or, pwede kang mag-change ng column section. So, circular. Yan. Pwede circular siya. Or, meron dyan naka C. Yan. Polygon. Again, rectangular lang tayo. Then, 60 by 60. So, change, change lang natin yung from 4,000 PSI, gawin natin 3,000. Or gawin natin 3,500. Yan. Natin kung okay pa siya dyan. Then, click lang natin to. Ito yung redesign. Para mag-recalculate. Ayun. So, okay pa din siya. Then, pag okay ka na dyan, click lang natin itong accept. Yan. Pagpapa, nagbago na siya dyan. So, yung concrete niya dyan is 25 na. 25 MPA. Okay. Right click ulit. Redesign section. Dito naman, for rebar. Pwede mong i-change. Pwede kang, kung 25 gusto mong gamitin, click mo lang yung 25 and then... Yan yung color ng 25. So, na-change na siya. Or kung gusto natin ng bundle, click mo lang to. Then, two. Two bars na naka-bundle. Then, click mo to. Yan. Okay. So, uh, hindi natin gagawin yan. Balik tayo sa 19. Redesign. Since, pass naman siya dyan. Okay. 20 na. 20 yan yan. Then, kung gusto, kung may changes pa, click mo lang tong unlock. Then, babalik tayo doon. Redesign. Yan. Yun yung paano mag-redesign ng columns. Okay? So, next, redesign column. Yung kanina section. Ito naman, column. So, ang mababago mo lang dito is dimension and yung material property. Then next, redesign level. Applicable na to sa in every level. So let's say sa 2 meter level. Yeah. Pero ang mababago lang natin dito is material property and cover. Okay. Once may changes. Uh, okay, check natin itong top level. Itong C2. Yung top level, i-design natin yung level nito. Yan. So, gawin natin 3,000 PSI. Okay siya. Click redesign. Yan. So, every... Okay. Then, pag okay na, click accept. Yan. So, every level na yun, yun. Naging 3,000 na yan. So, yung top level natin. 3,000 PSI. So, pasok siya dyan. And, redesign natin yung also itong third. 50 by 50. 3,000 PSI. Check natin kung okay siya dyan. Yun. Click accept. Yun. So, change na yan. Okay. So, okay tayo sa column design. Since may changes tayo dito sa ating uh, material property or kung may changes tayo dito sa ating orientation and size ng column, pwede natin i-update yung ating start file. So, dito lang tayo sa file. Then, yan. Ito. Update analysis file. Yan. So, click mo lang yung update analysis file. And then, gagawa na ito ng start copy. 
or start file na updated na. Okay, sa design ng column, next natin is beams. So, start start tayo sa fourth or sa roof beam level and then siguro sa fourth floor and since typical naman yung second and third and fourth, fourth floor na lang yung i-design natin and then slab and then mat footing. Okay? Thank you.